reason why we must all comply to this whole oatmeal for breakfast, salad for lunch and no carbs for dinner. So let's now take a closer look at how and why it's so easy to apply this ancient science to our real lives. <laughs> Most of the Indians are food lovers mm, because I think the basic quality of food is, is taste oriented. Let me be very honest, I do a, my stand up, uh, my play for two and a half hours and uh, it has nothing to do with, initially I never used to eat on the whole day uh, of the play because I used to think that this interferes with my, with my performance, I have to remember my lines so let me not eat but you will be shocked and happy that now in between my play I eat in between my play also interval also I have a cheese sandwich which is never heard of I did my play is going on for the last seven years for six years I have kept myself hungry so a sense of humor has a lot to do with eating right being right is also uh, a lot to do with food being right in as a person I think has a lot to do with you crack correct jokes because you're eating right food you are uh, positive, you're optimistic because you're eating right. 14 years, I used to have rasgulla every single night that I was in India, in Bombay. <clears throat> I had to sleep uh, before uh, Hare Rama Hare Krishna ka ek khas kisam ka rasgulla aata tha. For 14 years, one combi flam and one rasgulla. It was ridiculous. Then it became two. And I've not eaten it for the last one and a half years. I'm a Kashmiri, so Kashmiri food is, whether it's damalu or Rogan Josh, it's meat or vegetarian also, is, is the first taste that they remain with you in your life. You grow up and that's why you crave for that food, because they have decided your taste buds. You're nicer to people, you're kinder to people, it evokes a certain amount of kindness in you. Apart from your, it has, unless there is a manufacturing defect in you as a person, that's also a possible. So then also it can be because you are not starving uh, and you are not making everybody's life miserable that I want to eat only this and mixed with a half a spoon of olive oil and then steam it at the temperature 37.3 and then uh, boil it on the temperature of this, the simmering water, this thing, by the time I will die. I want you to, when you told me to have paratha and ghee, I went out of, out of control. So don't just feed your children with food, but teach them to value, respect and practice our ancient food wisdom. <laughs>